Uh, we're looking at Vegas Movie Studio 9.0 evaluation for evaluation question 6. This is the post production uh, technology we've used. Uh, we've used three main features in our post, te post production technology. The first is the use of titles uh, overlaying the video footage. The second is the black and white CCTV footage that we put in. And finally, we have the the blue tint that we've added. I'll also uh, show you where we got our music from, uh, free music download or free music search uh, for our piece The Woodman. So starting off looking at these, just the, the interface of the whole thing, over here we have the main screen where we see the ongoing action as I can show, if it works. Up here we have the titles and other special effects we can add in. So we're going to start off by adding another title to the piece. Uh, so we'll go to Media Generators, click Text, and we'll we've used the default text. Drag that in. This gives us the ability to type in what we want. So <clears throat> we might want based on. We need to change the font, uh, the size of the thing of the text. We can do that based on the books by Kipling. They're not. It's a uh, no relation actually, but it's just worth having a look. We can make the piece bold or unbolded, italics. We're going to keep it in bold. We can shift it, align it left, right, or center. We're going to do left probably. Placement. This is a great tool. It lets you place exactly on the piece where you want it to go. So I'm going to put this up in the right hand, left hand corner. Keep. You want to keep it in the red lines that you can see here. Uh, this allows you to, when you render the piece again, it will remain the same. You can then go to color properties. So you can lighten or darken the actual color. You can change the color of it. So we'll, if we put it in. A black, but you can also change the back, back, background colour so we could actually make the background purple instead of the actual footage that you see but we can of course take that back. Finally effects on this setting uh, we can feather the piece so give it almost a how would you put it, uh, a shadow to the piece like taking it out of the piece separating it from the video footage. <clears throat> we can control the X and Y axes, so which direction the shadow is on, so if we want it slightly to the right and slightly down, we'll set it to these settings. Also you can shear horizontally and you can change these effects, so if you wanted to do a, squ a squish top or a squish bottom, do a squish bottom, an almost Star Wars type effect when that comes rolling in. Uh, and you can curve right or of course curve left. We're going to take that out. We just take that out because we've already got all the titles we need. Next <clears throat> we're going to show how we added the blue filter. For that we go to Video FX and we go to Chroma Blue. He says. Not blur, sorry. Not uh, let me just find the one. Color black, back, balance, and we're going to do blue midtone. So we drag this over onto the piece. We we actually drag this onto the video footage. We don't put it in either the options above, and we can see the added being added there. We can actually adjust the red and green. <coughs> do a shadow, mid-tones or highlights and you can change the, those, turn them on and off so we can turn that back off again because we don't need the effect. Also on here we can uh, do quite cool features with the fade so just by clicking on the right hand side corner you'll see this little uh, set half a semicircle come up and you can 
adjust the fade setting, so like that. Uh, well, that's one of the great features about using Vegas Movie Studio by Sony. Uh, we can also now go to look at how we've done the CCTV footage. We can see an example of that here. What we've gone and done is we've gone back to Video FX and we've clicked to black and white and we've put on 100% black and white. We'll, I'll show you just on another clip, on this clip here. So that's now in black and white. You can change the blend which nicely affects the shadows. You can make it look older and older and older. We're just going to take that off because we don't want to leave that on the piece. And finally, to, to help make that effect, we overlaid some more text showing the time and date. And finally, we put on a uh, TV simulator, as we can see here. Just drag that on. to add the effect. We haven't done it this uh, strongly, we, you can, when you play around with settings, you can really you can see you can do quite good squiggly image re which is quite a nice tool. Again we're not going to save that. Uh, that's pretty much the basics of Sony Vogue. For our music, we used a free music downloader. We downloaded a piece called The Huntsman after we were able to listen to it online. Uh, and we just directly imported that as an MP3 into our media so we have the finished product. And uh, that's about all of the special effects we used in our piece. Uh, thank you very much.